Micro Worlds, EX Logo. This is going to be a demonstration of what Logo can do and t also teach math. This is a tessellations video. Tessellations are shapes that fit together and completely fill the plane without any gaps, any overlaps. There's three regular polygons that do this by themselves. We've got this down here at the com command center. The triangle, equilateral triangle. The equilateral triangle, if you rotate it and move it around, will fill up the entire screen. Uh, the turtle's drawing that right now. Of course, the key to all of this will be the angles. The rule of 360 is perfect for that. But an equilateral triangle moved and rotated will fill up the whole screen. Of course, most everybody knows squares. Square, if you rotate it and move it over, will fill up the whole screen. Nice pattern. Rectangles are probably the most common shape that, that's used in, in construction everywhere. Doors, windows, concrete blocks, rooms, most of the things that fit together are rectangles. Why? No gaps, no overlaps. The one that's probably the most, con or most interesting is a hexagon. A hexagon will, will fit together. Of course, bees use it, and uh, there are some windows that use it. It'll completely fill it up. Uh, the turtle's doing a pretty good job here. There's little gaps, but that's, that's my fault. The hexagons have a total uh, inside and outside. The, the key is 360. The interior angle of a hexagon is 120. 120 goes into 360 three exact times. So if there's any corner there where they're meeting, then it's three. Square has 90. That goes into 360 perfectly four times. That's why it fills the screen. And an uh, equilateral triangle has a 60 degree interior angle and that fills it up because six of them around any point make a make perfect uh, gap, no gaps. There's a few combinations of one. I have one here called ox square. An octagon and a square put together will go piece, piece together perfectly. The turtle's drawn them. I'm trying to get them as best I can. And it'll fill it up all the way outside. Of course, tile, people that you work with tile know this, or carpeting, things that fit together perfectly, make a pleasing, pleasing uh, appearance. A lot of kids think pentagons do tessellate. They don't, not regular pentagons. There are some gaps in there, and the reason is the interior angle is 108, and 108, and 108, and 108 is 324, but 324 is not perfectly 360, so... There's a gap. You can fill it in with triangles if you want, but it won't tessellate by themselves. Of course, any shape you might think of, a parallelogram, of course, a parallelogram is just kind of a simpler, maybe easier thing than a square or rectangle. Side and side, it'll fill up the whole thing, completely fill up the gaps, makes interesting patterns. Matter of fact, it turns out that any quadrilateral will do this. I tried drawing one here in a moment. It's called quad tests. If you do any quadrilateral, I just drew some with sides, rotate it around, move it over, copy it, and turn it upside down as best I could. You could kind of see that. Things aren't parallel, of course, but they will be completely 360, and the reason is all of those angles at one corner, all of these angles here at maybe one vertex, will have to equal 360. There's also an interesting pattern also with art. There's a connection to MC's, MC Escher's work. MC Escher is a famous artist that died in the early 70s, I believe. He did a lot with patterns. He did a lot of things that you can look up on the web. I made one called Esch Tests, starting off with a hexagon. What you do is you change a side. I changed a side that would be a half circle and a little square. If you copy and make it to the other side, then cop make another change and copy it, and then make another change and copy it, you'll notice that it, will can, it can make the same shapes. Let me do a little erasing here. There is a, an eraser on the clip art. Come over here to the right side. There's a, an eraser right here. Let me erase these just to, shouldn't be in a program, but with these odd angles and odd shapes, it's not coming out perfect, so I'll get rid of them this way. Let me zoom in on the shape. 
that should detessellate. The part up here, part up here, will fill in over here perfectly because it's the same. I just moved it over to the parallel side. This part here, the two half circles, I put on the parallel side over here. This side that's the most unique, you have a slant and then a half circle. And what does it look like? Well, I don't know, but if you put a, an eye maybe here, and we'll fill it in a little bit. Ooh. And a nose, maybe a little bit there, nostril. And put in a smile. Put in a, an ear, maybe. A little bit, bit like that. Fill in some with the hair. You have a shape. Put a collar on it. You can have a shape, a tessellation, that should work if you've done the sides correctly copied and pasted the same sides on the opposite parallel sides, you can make shapes and they'll fit together perfectly. And that's tessellations.